Hello everybody, this is SanCS, and welcome back to Let's Play I Keep Flying to the Wrong Directions. Otherwise known as uh, Vampire Dawn, Reign of Blood. So today we will search for where the key or the emblem could go to in some random dungeons. Uh, yeah, we have a couple more there where we could go to. And, uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, it's just another dungeon, uh... Well, where we can get some items from. Nothing really all too interesting in here. And here we get a talisman, okay, I'm fine with that. And it's a blood nectar, also not bad. And... Yeah, I think that's a new enemy. Um, I don't have the enemy description here open right now, but all those enemies here are supposed to be fightable at level 38 or something like that, so... They shouldn't be all that much of a problem either way, at least for this late in the game. Okay, over to the right here. No? Somewhere is a treasure chest behind a tree. I... Ah! Pff, okay, I'm playing the invisible one. Okay. Yeah, here we have a blue stone. And if we go up and to the left, according to my notes, but I don't know exactly where. Well, probably over there behind that tree. Ah, uh, we have a sun protection. Really, Gabe? We've got a lot of... Actually, there is something worse later on, but <laughs> I'll get to that later. Uh, but yeah, let's just leave this dungeon here. There are some more enemies, like, uh, Forest Genies and... Forest Genies, <laughs> but... Uh, I'm fine with only having two battles. Our next dungeon is on the Ice Continent. At least if my notes aren't wrong. Or I looked up the wrong, uh, the wrong place or whatever. So if we get all the way over here, and a little further down, yeah, it, unfortunately it takes a while to get around here in this world, but well, at least you can fly around. Better than having to walk, <laughs> and having to fight all these random encounters. <laughs> oh, well in the normal game where you don't have to uh, record and- wow, that was quick. When you don't have to record and um, commentate, that's it. It isn't even that noticeable that there is so many encounters. Just when, we, when you have to count out half of, or most of them, then it gets really noticeable. Anyway, here we have some new enemies. I don't know how strong they are or against... Well, they are, uh, they are level 40 enemies. Or rather, rather, this dungeon here is supposed to be uh, tackled when you're level 40. And holy heck, that's a lot of fun. But either way, they hurt. That's not what I wanted to say, but it's true. Ouch. Oh god. I'm thinking about running right about now. Come on, cut at least one of them. Thank you. I hope that one was bleeding. No, it wasn't. But at least it didn't attack uh, Elaine. But yeah, if those... It's starting all over again with a jinxing. <laughs> Uh, either way, those guys here, uh, if they don't scream, I guess they're not all too terrible. If they do, ouch. They didn't even attack Asuka a single time! <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, here we have some Easter shoes. Okay, yeah, those are the first treasures too. Now we want to go down and to the left according to my notes. And over here, we have a chest containing a safe stone. Okay. Now let's head to the right. And... Walk up, I believe. Oh, trees! Stop getting in my way! And once we've made it all the way up, we have a treasure chest containing a black stone. Not bad if you still want to go to the Shadow Temple. Or Shadow Altar. And here we have an Ice Hydra. Uh, now let's use uh, Feed with Elaine. She needs it more. After all, she is healing all the time. This enemy here should be a little easier. Yeah, especially since it can't scream. <laughs> yeah, in the last battle, they all ganked up on Asuka. 
after the first time they didn't attack him and all of that, they almost killed him. Well, at least only almost. And yeah, that's that forest already. Yeah, rather short too. Next up, we have another forest. However, uh, it's a little tricky to find. Or not, not it even. Okay. We just we want to stay on the same continent even. It's well, where the heck is that town? Oh, oh okay. The map uh, completely obfuscated this town here. Ah, uh, okay. We want to be around this region here and our transformation. And if we are lucky, I can even find that spot on the map. No, I can't. Yeah, I'll just kill you real quick. Let's see, there should be a forest entrance here right there. Found it! And welcome to the Cult Forest! Uh, first up, we want to get up. And fly two gang members. Okay, no need to stop my time with them. And right, this forest here only has gang members, now thinking about it. So the gang members, they can use uh, multi-targeting healing spells. And, uh, well... It in and of itself, it isn't that bad, but if you fight three of them at once, well, it can get a little annoying. Um, other than that, they also have a multi-targeting ice elemental spell. So if you really want to, you can uh, use your spells, or heck, you could even use... Um... Oh, no, they can also use instant death attacks, so you should probably wear the protect ring rather than a uh, an ice ring. So now do we yeah we want to go a little further to the right or rather all the way to the right Over here we have a treasure chest with a blue stone Okay and uh, after the last battle I want to check how many strong souls I have Okay I guess I'll go to the castle in a second and few fuse with those I did fusing and got another 9 strength. Nice. One good strategy against those uh, gang members is to use feet on them in the first round and try to make them bleed because then uh, even if they heal at least they'll get a little bit of damage hopefully. Once we've made it over here, we trick a cutscene apparently. Okay, you do remember still about that one quest with that cult that sacrifices people? I think we found them. This shan't stay the last sacrifice, our god Gargash! I think he's dead already, you know? Alex and uh Whatever his girlfriend was called, killed him already, so <laughs> you could stop with your little cult, you know. Zidus, traitors, heretics? What? Why? We didn't... Okay, we did say something, but... Uh... Still? Anyway, yeah, if you touch these guys here, you run into a cult member. They're just... Stronger... Well, gang members, pretty much. I don't know, really, but uh, yeah, they're a little bit stronger than those guys, but without the ability to uh, heal themselves or cast them to death, but instead can use uh, well, ice storm here. Still, they're not really that much to worry about. So yeah, just slash them and tell them to run in hell. And <laughs> three gang members, really random battle. Okay, apparently those uh, gang members can use Ice Storm too. Huh, didn't notice. And here with the cult leader already before we uh, attack all of their cult members. Haha! 
Anyway, it's mid-boss time! Or optional boss time, or whatever you want to call it. The cult leader. Yeah, she's a bit stronger than the other guys, obviously. That's why I'm gonna use black power, just because I can. That's not gonna do anything. Actually, you use feet, Asuka. And, as always, use stability with the lane. Well, okay, that barely did anything. And actually, this boss here is not that strong that you def desperately need to use the debuffs. Ah, okay, that worked. Right. It did say that she's bleeding now, didn't it? Um, yeah, you don't necessarily need to use debuffs, but still, you have them, so you might as well use them, right? Okay, you don't need to, really. <laughs> this is a level 40 place! I expected this boss battle here to be a little bit more tough. And yeah, now I'm gonna uh, beat up all the other cult map. Did I have a typo in that move? No, it just looked like it had a typo. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll uh, kill all those guys here and then be right back. And they're finished. And once we have done that, or even earlier, you don't need to fight all of them. You get a ring of dexterity from the spread trash chest if you have more than 100 intelligence, which you definitely should have once... Yeah, look at my uh, intelligence there, my mental stat. And this place here is meant for level 40 and above. So I guess I'll lead you out of this place here because I haven't shown you the shortest way. And there's the exit already. So with that band being uh, completely eradicated... Oops, wrong direction! Oh, three eyes magicians. Um, what I wanted to say is, uh, let's head back to the town and uh, get our reward. But no, of course, that had to be ambushed by three ice magicians. Ooh, yeah, we're so strong, we're going to... Oh, die! <laughs> uh, yeah, randomness there. So yeah, let's head to the church, which was located down here, I believe? No, that's the pub. Oh god. Yeah, I am really uh, clueless where to go without my map. <laughs> that was the graveyard. Or without, without some directions to go. Yeah, that, that was actually the church. So yeah, let's head in here. Talk to the pastor, and get our third vampire armor yeah that is why you definitely a want to uh, talk to this guy here and B do this quest here because this is the third and well only third vampire armor that you can get in this game so yeah now we have equipment wise for everybody but a lay the best weapon two vampire shields all the vampire armors and unfortunately we can't get any uh, but we could get some vampire helmets, but I really don't like the Destiny game. I checked it up again, and you have a 1 in 120 chance to get uh, any item. So, yeah, to get, to get a specific item, rather. So, yeah, it is rather low, and I really don't like gambling that much, so... With my luck, like, I wouldn't even get a vampire armor, even if I put like 360 uh, of those huge stones in. Uh, not vampire armor, but vampire helmet. So yeah, I won't do that. You can do that if you want to, but I'll just stay with the strongest helmet I can buy. Uh, actually, I could do that. Uh, well, I'll do that off screen for right now. Uh, let's end the episode, and next time, uh, continue looking for a way to uh, make that emblem of use. This was NCS, and Fable for now.